So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. What's up everyone, Movie Mania Nick here, and today I just went to go see the movie Blue Beetle. Director was Angel Manuel Soto. It starred Zolo Marduena, Bruna Marquezine, Becky G, Damian Alcazar, George Lopez, Susan Sarandon, Melissa Escobedo, Adriana Barraza, and Elpieta Carrillo. So this movie is basically about an alien scarab chooses Jamie Reyes, Raheem Reyes, I should say, to be its symbiotic host, giving him a suit of armor that's capable of extraordinary and unpredictable powers for him to be become the Blue Beetle. All right, so I just saw the newest DC film, Blue Beetle. And actually, really nobody knew about the Blue Beetle. I've heard stories, nobody knows what it is. It's a character. I kind of knew what the Blue Beetle was because I did read some of the comics when I was very young. So in a way, I didn't know. But if you don't know, this is the newest film from DC. So if you did not know, the first Blue Beetle that was introduced was in 1939. The character name was Dan Garrett. He was the first one. And then from, I think, from the 60s through the 80s, it was Ted Cord. He was the next Blue Beetle. And remember Ted Cord. Remember that name if you see this movie. Because his name is just, throughout the whole film, you'll hear his name. And you'll understand why. James Gunn is now the new head, the new boss of DC. And he did mention, I was reading that, he said that the Blue Beetle is now part of the DC Extended Universe, but he's more of the newest, I would not the newest, but more of the first film of the new DC Universe, if that makes any sense. But you're going to see more of the Blue Beetle in probably future movies. So let's start off with the cast. Uh, I think the cast did a great job, especially Zolo Merduena. If you don't know who he is, he's a great actor. He did very well in this movie. He's from the show Cobra Kai and some other TV shows. But everybody did a good job within you know the family here. And Susan Sarandon was the big baddie. She was the villain of the movie. Of course, there was another villain too, but he was he was okay, but kind of weak. Susan Sarandon, she was all right as the villain, but kind of weak in a way. Now, I did actually enjoy this film. I did like it. Was it the greatest film? I don't think it was, but it did catch my attention. There was a lot of fight scenes, a lot of action scenes, which were pretty good. The fight scenes were really good decent and excellent. The CGI was on point, much better than The Flash, let's just say that. The storyline was pretty good. Um, it was emotional at times, especially within the family, the Mexican family, and it's all like, it's about, it's like fast acts or fast movies. It's about family, it really is. It kind of pulled my uh, heart a little bit. I did tear up a couple times. And what was cool about this was it was more... What I got out of it was it was an 80s theme in a way. The colors, the bright colors, the synthwave music, which I thought was really good. I really enjoyed the music. But overall, yeah, I mean, there are some downsides of this movie, but not a lot. Maybe there's a few here and there, but otherwise it's a decent film. It really imitates the movies of, I would probably say, Venom, Spider-Man. It's just, it's almost the same thing with the symbiotic th thing. Um, the bug, Spider-Man, and the, the, the legs coming out. And If you see this movie, you know what I mean. But if you haven't, you'll still know what I mean. But overall, do I recommend to see this movie? I mean, if you're a big DC fan like I am, I would say yes. If you know about the Blue Beetle, I would say yes. 
Um, yeah, it, it is a decent film. Or otherwise, you could just wait until it comes out on something else, which will probably be out on uh, Max. Also, there are two end credit scenes. There's a mid credit and an end credit. The end credit scene, the last one is it's all right, but I would definitely stick around for the mid credit scene. It'll get you intrigued. And now it's time for fun facts. This was originally set to be on Max, formerly known as HBO Max. Two costumes seen in a facility resemble the costumes worn by Dan Garrett and Ted Cord, the previous Blue Beatles. This is the first DC movie based on a character who debuted in comics in the 21st century. Jaime Reyes debuted in Infinity Crisis number three that came out in February 2006. One of the first weapons the Blue Beetle suit creates is a replica of the Zorg ZF-1 from the Fifth Element, which came out in 1997. And finally, the Blue Beetle costume in the film is based on the designs from the Infinity Crisis comics in Justice 2 2017 video game and the Batman, the Brave, and the Bold from 2008 and Young Justice from 2010 cartoons. And that's it, guys. That is my movie review for Blue Beetle. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash that like button, support, share, hit that notification bell. It will notify you when my next video vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes!